Welcome to Tim's Two Minutes, where I share with you just an encouraging word from the Word of God. And so my question for you today is this, how do you see yourself? I mean, we can look at the mirror and we see, oh, there, that's how my hair looks, that's how my face looks, and for the ladies, the makeup, although sometimes men make up too, but let's not talk about that. Or we can uh, see ourselves, you know, we, we take a selfie, yay. <laughs> but how do we see ourselves? Well, how do we see ourselves in our lives? You know, what kind of person we are? Uh, sometimes it's based on failures or we compare ourselves to other people. But I just want to share with you that we need to see ourselves according to what the Word of God has to say about us. There's a, an, an event in the Word of God that takes place. You remember Moses and all the Israelites that came out of Egypt, saw all of these great miracles, crossed the Red Sea, and they get to the border of the Promised Land. And Moses sends 12 spies into the land of Canaan, or the Promised Land, and they go into the land, and they come back 40 days later, and they give a report of the land. 10 of them didn't give a very good report. And part of the reason is when they went into the land, they saw these giants and these big people. And they said in Numbers 13 and uh, the last verse 33, it says, and we were like grasshoppers in our own sight. And so we were in theirs. They had a negative view of themselves. Well, Joshua and Caleb, however, had a different view. Their view was based on the promise of God. How do you view yourself? Do you know what the promises of God are about you and who you are in Him? I encourage you to get into the Word of God. I'm going to talk more about this, but I've only got two minutes. <laughs>